So, the next part is understanding the balance and overdraft. So, let us understand the concept of regular bank balance and overdraft balance in cash book. So, what is regular bank balance? The regular bank balance in cash book is what? Cash book debit side is receipts. Similarly, cash book credit side is payments. If receipts are more than payments, then it is called as debit balance or regular balance or favorable balance as per cash book. The next part is overdraft balance. Now, what is overdraft balance in cash book? Again, cash book debit side is receipts and cash book credit side is payments. If payments are more than the receipts, it is called as credit balance or overdraft balance or unfavorable balance as per cash book. Let us see the next one. So, the next concept is the regular bank balance and overdraft balance in passbook. Now, what is the regular bank balance in passbook? Again, you can see passbook debit side is payments, then passbook credit side is receipts. If receipts are more than the payments, it is called as credit balance or regular balance or favorable balance as per the passbook. Similarly, overdraft balance, what is overdraft balance in passbook? Again, passbook debit side is payments, passbook credit side is receipts. If the payments are more than receipts, it is called as debit balance or overdraft balance or unfavorable balance as per passbook. Now, the next question is, what do you think that the bank balance as per cash book and bank balance as per passbook at the end of the month should be? Should it be same or different? Then the answer is obviously same. Why it has to be same? Because such balance as per the cash book and passbook should be same at the end of every month since same banking transactions are recorded by both the cashier in the cash book and banker in the passbook.